Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. It's the last day of January, thankfully the last day of the first month of 2016. It has not been the greatest 2016 for me so far, so I'm thankful that this is the last day of the first month because tomorrow is not only a new day, but also a new month. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo, and I want to share with you something that happened yesterday evening. I got back from Florida yesterday, flew into LAX, took a shuttle from the airport to Disneyland Hotel, and then I took an Uber, which was very actually pretty good. I did the vlog yesterday about the Uber thing. I tried it out, and it seems like it's going to work pretty well. This vlog is not about that situation, however. It's about a situation that happened after I got home, where I took a nap and I slept well for a few hours, and then I, as I got up, I was doing some work back in my little office room in the back of the homestead, and I heard someone trying to break in to where I live. It's definitely not a fun feeling to know that someone is trying to get into your private property, root around your stuff, perhaps cause you harm, or steal what you have worked hard to actually purchase. And it happened right inside of my front door, and you can see that I have to replace part of the screen door. And right over here are the remnants of what was torn off, ripped out of the screen. You can see the little handle here. You can see the little knob that usually opens the door. And you can see the screws. One of the screws is actually still fine. You can see that screw is fine, but that screw has been broken off. The gentleman who broke into the door last night, it was a, it was a guy probably in his mid to late 20s, he broke this. And basically, basically what happened is I was in the back room. I thought someone was trying to break in the, in the window. I did not have the wherewithal to grab my camera and periscope it or vlog it from inside. There was no way in heck I was exiting through this door because I did not want him to assault me. I didn't know if he had a gun, if he had a knife, if he had anything like that. But basically, he was trying to get in here first. Then I heard... This rummaging around, of course this was locked, but I heard him trying to get in like this. Just because there is a welcome pad in front of someone's door does not mean that everyone is welcome to come in. You must be a friend of mine to try to get in side of the door. And then after he tried getting in there, he went over here and perched himself right here. He was squatting on this and he was trying to bust in this window rattling he was rattling that i heard this noise and i heard him trying to open that window so basically let's go inside now so basically the way it went down is i was back in one of the back rooms i had gotten up from a short nap very tired very jet lagged from my trip been gone for nine days i was in the back working on some stuff on my laptop editing some stuff, compiling some footage and stuff. And there's always noises. You always hear noises. Birds in the trees, squirrels running across the roof, stuff like that that's normal noises. And then all of a sudden I heard what seemed like glass breaking. And I was like, what the heck is that? So I came out of the room. And as I walked into this room, I looked out through the windows. You can see there are two glass windows on my front door. So as I approached from the horror hallway, as I walked down, the screen door, which is always closed, was opened. And I knew right then that something was amiss. Something was not good, judging on the noise, the hullabaloo out there on the front porch, and the screen door being opened. I knew someone that did not belong here, someone that was uninvited to my house, was out side of my doorstep. So I leaned out and I looked out the door and then I noticed that at the front of the property there is actually a secured area that you cannot get into. That area was completely opened and this made me even more terrified because someone purposefully opened that and came up here for whatever motives they had deemed viable to actually try to get in inside the homestead. So I'm walking up, I look out, I don't see anyone in front of my vision, and I look over, 
And remember the like bench I just showed you? There was a guy perched. He was basically perched like this, like a cliche, stereotypical prowler. Like it almost looks like something out of a movie. And he was trying to get the window open. And I didn't recognize this person, have no clue who he was. And after I saw that the door had been busted, after I heard him trying to break the window, I went into a fit of Hulk-like rage. <laughs> Let me tell you, because I did not know what to do. I should have had my camera on me. This all happened within a matter of probably 30 seconds to a minute of me running out and seeing all this happening. I should have filmed it. I should have taken a photo of him. Did not have enough time. So basically what I did is I started banging on my door from the inside and I was actually, I was using a little bit of profanity. I was dropping the F-bomb a couple times, speaking very loudly. Even though I stay pretty much family friendly in these vlogs, when you are in a situation like that and you do not know if the person on the other side of the window is about to break the window and what they could be holding. See, now that door is flopping in the wind. I'm a little paranoid now. I'm starting to get a little antsy. So I started screaming out the window at this guy. And then he sat there. He didn't move. And that terrified me even more. He was just staring at the window. And finally, he like kind of looks up at me through this glass. And I was like, I'm calling the police. And I'm banging <laughs> on the door. This guy, I think, soiled himself. I think he, at that point, was more terrified than I was. His response was, why? And then, I'm serious. He's like, why? Why? You're asking me why I'm going to call the police? Luckily, I am not a physically angry person, or I probably would have opened the door. But like I said, if I opened the door, I don't know if he had a knife or he had some kind of a weapon or a gun or something like that. So I ran back to the room, pulled this phone that I'm doing these vlogs off the charger, and I thought, I'm going to take a photo of this guy or I'm going to start periscoping him live streaming through the window. By the time I got back up, he was gone. I called the police. The police showed up. They did a whole thing out there, asked me some questions. I told them what happened. What an evening. Wow, this has been a crazy 2016. I'm very thankful that I was not hurt. Nothing was stolen. All of this stuff in here is just stuff. If this stuff went away, life would go on. I am not a person who dwells on items of things like that. But when your personal space and you're in... when your area where you call home, basically the place that you come back to relax, your fortress of solitude, to use a Superman term, is actually invaded. It is a crazy feeling. It's a feeling that I really have not had very often in my life. If you have ever had something like that broken into, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I really do not wish that feeling. Look, this was not dramatic in the scale of dramatic things that could have happened, but just this small amount of drama that went down here last night really like stirs your brain up a little bit and makes you like crazy. And then you have a hard time sleeping at night thinking the person is going to come back. They're going to try to break back in. So what am I going to do now? I'm thinking about putting in either a security system, but I'm thinking about maybe not the security system and just putting up some cameras around the perimeter of the home, maybe even one inside and outside on both sides of the place. I have a friend who actually, like, he has one at his place, and he was, like, recommending some ideas of, like, just mounting them up there, and basically they record for 24 hours. So if anything happens in that 24-hour period, someone steals something from your yard, breaks in your house, they have no idea that this little secret camera is there filming them. So I think this week I'm actually going to try to install one of those systems they're pretty reasonably priced. Mount them around outside. And if this would-be criminal comes back, if it's you watching, if this would-be criminal comes back, we will have a fun video that I will be uploading on one of my YouTube channels for the world to see your criminalistic ways. All right. I am I'm not happy about this whole situation. I'm going to let you guys go. Check down below, below for my t-shirt out on the woodhousespreadshirt.com. Wow. Chime in with some comments. I look forward to your opinions. What is a successful way to protect? How do you protect your home? Not your house, not your apartment, but the place that you actually call home. Your knickknacks, your little sentimental values that you do not want. Some random hooligan, some scumbag breaking into a window and stealing. How do you protect 
yourself from those. All right, I'm a little worked up. I'm a little kind of angry about the situation, but I'm very thankful that it did not turn out worse than it did. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.